I found all of these lens cases at a thrift store a while back. Let's see how many ways we can mod them for LARP. Lens cases, they run about two to four dollars at a thrift store, but you might be able to get them for free from a relative or a friend who is or was into photography and might have a couple extra of these laying around from, you know, upgrading to their new toy. There are so many uses for these things. Scroll holder, like it can hold your quills, it can hold your spell packets or various little props, your item tags. This could hold jewels in it, or it could be a lucky die roller if you are a gambling character. I mean, really, it's all about our imaginations and the craft supplies that we have lying around. Let's go make stuff. This first case was inspired by every fey, wild elf, or forest creature I have ever played. They are my favorite characters to play, so I am starting with that. First, we are going to tape the hardware that I don't want to have to clean up paint off later. I wanted to make the case feel like it was made from a tree, so we are going to do that bark or faux wood look as a base. There's another video on how to do that technique in the link above. I'm not going to use spray paint because it will just get sticky. I once spray painted gold armor from faux leather that was actually vinyl, and it just stuck to itself. It was awful. After the yellow base coat, you move up to the next shade, which will be a medium brown, followed by a dark brown. I'm not going to sand it to bring out the other layers or give it the worn look because I will just end up scratching off the paint and reveal the black vinyl underneath. I always have a bunch of moss lying around because I love the look of mossy things. It's best if you work with sheet moss it's least likely to flake. It will lose some moss over time, but it holds up the best. Since the back of the case would end up being against my body and rub off any moss, I just glued some leaves there instead. I'm replacing the black plastic strap it came with with a thin leather strap. The rivets I had on hand were too big for the strap, so I'm just punching holes in the leather and stitching the strap with wax sinew. I had to make it glow with some glow fabric paint.
the tall case. I wanted to play with the idea of making a case for a necromancer or a swamp witch or a troll. I started by removing the awful plastic strap. There's this awesome meshy netting stuff that you can find at party supply stores, dollar stores around Halloween. I have so much of this stuff laying around because I love crafting and decorating with it and it's so cheap. All I did was glue two layers of this stuff in varying lengths around the tube and top, being careful to avoid the zipper. Testing the zipper to make sure nothing is going to get caught in the teeth. Now to add some creepy doodads. I had these beads left over from another character project that I never got around to. You can usually find these at any craft store year round. I'm sewing them onto the mesh. The bird skull I got from Michael's craft stores. For the strap, I am using a braided cord that I had in my stash. It was originally from a skirt I got at a thrift store. I cut it to size, threaded it through the loop, and attached the original beads. Now let's do something regal. I'm going to cover this case with cloth. I'm using the case and some tailor's truck to mark out the rectangle of fabric to cut at the size of the body of the case. I also marked where the strap hardware needs to poke through and cutting slits for the rings. Here I'm using hot glue to attach the fabric, lining up the ends of the fabric with the original case seams in the back. Cut away the fabric where the closure needs to snap together. Repeat the same technique for the case lid. Cut away any excess fabric. Again, I am using the case as a template. I am cutting two circles for the top and bottom of the case. Glue those on. Now to cover all the seams with some pretty trim. This will also manage and cover any frayed edges. I 
any other bits of fraying, you can stop the fraying with some clear nail polish. Finally, top it all off by covering the meh closure with an applique patch. I have a bucket or two of random applique patches and trim that I keep around just in case for projects just like this. I was limited on the strapping I had around. I ran out of anything that would work for this except for the gold trim and I still didn't like it. So I decided to wait and add strapping later when I find the right piece. The gambler's case was the quickest and easiest idea. I decided to make it look like stone. I started by covering the logo that was embossed on the top and tried to give it more of a stone texture by using Plasti Dip. It took about five thick coats to cover the embossed letters. I didn't realize I was out of gray and white paint, but I had some light beige which would do well anyways because it would give it more of an earth tone. I started by using a tiny bit of black mixed in and sponging on a light beigey gray. Then I stepped it up with a little bit more black, making a dark gray, and then stippled a bit of black for my last layer to make it look like stone. After the paint dries, to protect it from getting scratched up, I'm sealing the paint with Mod Podge. I had a lot of fun modding those cases, and I hope now you have a bunch of ideas for new accessories for your characters. Watch out, now every thrift store is not gonna have lens cases. <laughs> because that's how it goes. Thank you all my Patreon supporters and everybody who shares these videos. It is the best way you can support this channel right now. If you're wondering where in the heck to find me and chat with me in between videos, this is where you can find me. Keep creating and I'll see you guys next time. It's all about the toys. More toys for LARP characters. I hope that this character... What? I found these thrift... <laughs> I found these thrift stores. Um...